Hey guys, welcome to this. <laughs> you know it's gonna be an interesting time filming when you can't even do your opening. Okay, let's just collect myself and think about everything that is sparkly. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. We are going to be swatching, talking about, trying on, because I actually want to put a little bit on on camera, the new Makeup Forever Starlight Collection. They have a liquid highlighter, they have a revamped formula of their Starlight Powder, which I believe they've had around for a long time, but I have never seen this before. I mean, it looks like a bottle of nail polish. You even open it up and the wand kind of looks like nail polish. Look at that. Oh my goodness. We're going to get to all of the details on these new products. I have a lot to say about them. I've been wearing them a ton. I posted on Instagram a photo using the actual liquid highlighter on my inner corner. And to me, that whole photo, just like you go straight to the inner corner highlight. And I loved the way that my makeup looked that day. And I loved using this as an inner corner highlight. So this is the Starlight Collection and it is new. It has just launched this whole big thing right here. You have five of the liquid highlighters, you have eight of the powders. So we're gonna dive right into swatches, but it is Thursday, so you guys know what that means. I'm gonna be on Style Code Live tonight. I will be in the live chat at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, and I do have a hot product of the week that coincidentally also has to do with the eyes. So I hope you guys check that out. The link will be in the description box below. But let's get to all of the nitty gritty, sparkly, glowy details of this new launch. I am really excited about it. Um, I'm gonna share one of the most embarrassing stories ever of all time with you. Actually, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. I just decided on the spot. Why not? You guys will get a laugh out of it. And then you can tell your children what not to do when it comes to playing with makeup. When I was 13, I had my makeup done at a Makeup Forever counter and the makeup artist was trying to take off my mascara and she's like, what did you put on your lashes? And I'm like, hmm. Well, I had this friend who tried to use nail polish on her lashes. That's really weird, right? And the girl looked at me kind of like, okay, psychotic child who loves glitter a little bit too much. I had actually um, wanted to buy a mascara that had glitter in it, but my mom was like, no, it's not happening. Like, I'm not buying that for you. And I'm the idiot child that wanted glitter on my eyes so bad that I put nail polish on my eyelashes. I look back in time and I'm like, I ground myself. But the reason that I am reminded of that story is because these actually look like nail polish. And that story happened at a Makeup Forever counter. So I just kind of can't get over that. And I have this urge to be like, wow. Maybe if I dip a spoolie in here, I can just really go to town. I don't think I ever shared with my mom that I actually did that. If you have a child who is really into makeup, to the moms out there, they will find a way. I am just, I am here to tell you, they will find a way to put that on their face. So maybe hook them up with a glitter mascara, call it a day, and you won't wind up with a child that's Put nail polish on their face. My poor mother, I've just always loved makeup. You guys, I've never not loved makeup. It has always been this way. Let's actually take a look at the swatches for this liquid highlight. Now this is something that you can put all over the lid on its own. You can layer on top of eyeshadow. You can use as an inner corner highlight. It is really, really beautiful. The brush is kind of strange. I actually prefer taking it on the back of my hand and then taking either my fingertip like this and patting it on or taking a brush and doing some detail work. Holy smokes, what just happened to my blouse? <laughs> having too much fun telling that story. I'm actually gonna put on a little bit of the product for you guys right now. I'm gonna take the shade number one. All right, so that's really intense, right? You can either use an angled brush, you can use the brush it comes with. If you use the brush it comes with, just be really careful, you will get a lot of product on that inner corner. But what I wanted to show you guys was how intense this product is. It dries down, it stays put, you're not gonna get any weird fallout, it's gonna be just like locked in tight all day. So I really like this. I normally use it before I put on mascara, so this eye to me is looking a little 
like maybe I bumped my mascara, but anyway, you guys get the idea. It's really, really intense. So both the liquid and the powder have crushed mother of pearl. Let's take a look at all of the shades that are in the liquid first swatched. There's shade one, which is more silver. Shade number two is a little bit more golden and champagne-y, but it has almost a pinky tone to it. And then you have shade number four. I'm missing shade three, forgive me. Um, I need to go get it. I need to get it like ASAP. Skipping to shade number four, this one is very peachy and beautiful and I've worn it all over the lid and it's gorgeous. And then you have shade five. This is the only one that I have not tried on my actual lid yet. Um, and I wouldn't really use this as an inner corner highlight. So this is a more challenging one to use. It's a little bit see-through and maybe not as glittery as I would like. So this is the one that I'm kind of like, mm, so-so, but the other ones are so brightening and beautiful and wear for such a long time that I'm just a huge fan. All right, moving into the actual pigments. Now, Make It Forever makes some of the very best loose pigments, in my opinion. They are industry standard. They are something that makeup artists that work with celebrities keep in their kit. You can use them foiled. You can use them dry. It's impossible to go through an entire jar. Believe me, I have tried, and they have updated the lid on here, and on one hand, I love it, and on the other, I absolutely hate it. I wish it had a sifter. I like that I can dip my brush through the hole in the top, but to be honest, I am spilling the product around quite a bit, which I don't like. So be very, very careful when you open these suckers up because you might spill some on yourself. I'm just warning you. Okay, let's go through the shades of these right here. They have more shades. I believe these are just newer updated formulas or newer additions to the collection because these aren't all in number order right here. This first shade is absolutely stunning. This is the shade number two. It is a beautiful green icy. Oh my God, look at this. Are you kidding me? Is that not absolutely gorgeous? You can put this on top of a smoky eye. It's gonna be more intense in that golden green color, or you could use it on its own. Then we have a similar type of a shade. This is shade number five, and I'm wearing this on my lid right now. And this just shows you that you can use this as something subtle, or you can use it wet, really foiled. You can use it over smoky, it'll get more purple. This is a very versatile, really cool, just really cool pigment. Then we have shade 12, which is a gorgeous wearable bronze. This actually looks good on its own. No liner, no nothing underneath the eye, a little bit on the lid. Just kind of dust it out into the crease, put on some mascara, and it just gives you a really edgy, beautiful look. And it's a very wearable copper shade. Then we have my most favorite shade, which I could wear this every single day of my life and be a happy camper. This is a beautiful, bright, bold, bright, just really striking, gorgeous, uh, champagne shade. You could use this as a very intense highlighter if you wanted to on the cheeks. If you want to be super daring, this would get you there in a hurry. It would just be like bam bam. Like this would be the most intense highlighter ever. Actually, I've never tried it as that. Should we try it right now? Why not? I'm going to sprinkle a little bit out in front of me. Right? Holy. Oh my God. I can't. I mean, this would give you like Instagram glow in a hurry. Holy, oh my God. I almost tone it down a little bit, but look at that. That's really, really pretty. Okay, so that is like my favorite pigment just because it's so versatile. You can even put it like on top of your lipstick. I'm not flicking you off, I swear to God. That's not what I'm doing. Do you see how that kind of just transformed my lip look? These just mix with any medium. You can mix them with glosses. You can do it foiled. You can mix it in with creams. You can layer it with powders. You can just do so much with this product. It is a very beautiful, high quality pigment. So moving on to the other colors, we have the shade 15, which is a gorgeous, more rosy toned champagne. And then we have the shade 19, which is a gorgeous deep blue, kind of cobalt blue that is really interesting and has me wanting to do something wild with my eyes with this color. I almost did it today, but then I was like, mm, just no. 
Um, then we have 27, which is perfect for a smoky eye. It's a beautiful charcoal metallic gray that you could do a smoky eye really easily with. You could do a winged liner. You could do a lot with this, and I think it's gorgeous. Then you get one that is almost black. Look at how intense that pigment is, but it has so much shine in there that you could do, again, a really beautiful liner look. You could do a smoky eye. You can use these pigments however you want to. They're gonna look gorgeous. So those are the colors that they just launched. And then of course the new item, they have the liquid. And I think they're all really fantastic. I actually don't have anything bad to say about any of them other than I wish there was a sifter and not that giant hole in the center in the new packaging. So everything glittery and new from Makeup Forever gets a huge thumbs up from me. I think it's super, super hot and I'm excited to use these more and you will probably see them on my face, on my eyes quite a bit in upcoming videos because I'm a big fan of this launch. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. Let me know what you want me to review next in Hot or Not. And of course, I'm gonna remind you, please come join me on Style Code Live. Hang out with me, chat with me. I will be there 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Link will be below. And so will my giveaway link because that is still going on as well. There is still time. All right, I love you guys so much and thanks for hanging with me. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.